Hello all, this is SP Styles of Your Africa Showing and I'm just coming today because I'm actually just going to be taking my hair out and figuring out how to pin it up with some good old bobby pins. So, um, I'm going to start my takedown. All I have, my hair actually was roller set um, earlier this week and I've been wearing it for probably almost a week now um, in some twist outs and a lot of nothing. And I just threw basically five braids in uh, single braids and pin curl them last night um, and I'm going to be taking them down to do either an updo and high bun or some kind of low bun so we'll figure it out because we know that's how natural hair goes sometimes so let me just take the pins out of these and okay so I brought some Fatika oil with me to help uh, take down. My hair is pretty moisturized so I don't need much, nor am I going to get much because this bottle is almost done and because it's winter everything is solidifying. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I'm just going to use this a little bit because I don't need my hair to be overly oily considering that I moisturized before I put these braids in. So let me go ahead and start to take down, and if it looks awkward that I'm looking somewhere else, I'm just looking, using my computer as a mirror because I obviously can't see anything. So even though I had a roller set, um, I wanted to braid or twist my hair because I do like the texture that it gives when you do it on roller set hair, especially for doing really classic and elegant looking uh, updos and binds. I think it really helps to give that beautiful texture to the hair. Uh, okay, so now that my braids are all out, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. Um, and I think I'm actually going to rock with a Taylor Swift inspired low bun in the back. Taylor Swift always has her hair curled into these, uh, beautiful waves. And before she always used to wear her hair down. But lately, I think she's been wearing it uh, more in beautiful updos. She had her moment of straight hair and bangs, which was really hot, but I really enjoy her textured looks. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just separating each section that was braided in half, uh, just to fluff the hair out a bit. Nobody wants, like, extremely flat hair. Well, maybe some people do, but I don't want extremely flat hair. And, okay, so this is basically what I'm starting with. So she generally always has a very deep side part, so I'm going to leave the one that I have already. Um, and what I'm going to do is begin by pinning my hair to the side. So I don't want to pull it um, because I don't want to lose this beautiful texture that you can see is in here. So I'm just going to, almost kind of like I was doing a wrap, just take the hair to the side, uh, wherever the ends of these hairs are, and I'm going to take a bobby pin and secure them. Okay, so there's the first pin. And next... I am going to, oops, excuse me, basically going to continue doing the same thing, pinning the hair back as I pull it backwards into ponytail motion. Now, Taylor Swift usually does a lot of side buns. Um, I'm not sure, let me see, side or middle, middle, 
side. I think I'm going to go with the middle today. I really like the side, but I definitely am feeling like a middle bun gutter girl today. Um, I just feel like the side bun can be more of a youthful appearance, which is fine, but I think I'm definitely going more for the more sophisticated side of things. Um, so, excuse me. Let me grab another bobby pin. And I'm just going to do another pin. Again, we're just stretching the hair a little bit, but not too much so that we keep the texture. So that's what that side's looking like. On to the next side, we are going to do the same thing. And because I want this hair to kind of come down a little bit, I'm going to first bring it down and then back. So just pulling it back, I would have this. But down and then back gives me this. So, and I don't mind the hair over the ear. If you guys do, all you have to do is not pull it over your ear. You can pull it behind your ear. Um, okay, another bobby pin. Perfect. Okay. So now what I'm left with is this. Just hair out in the back, basically. What I'm going to do is take a scrunchie. And this is something new that I kind of came up with to fake a bigger bun on shorter hair. So I'm going to take basically this top portion of hair. And I have a little scrunchie here. Whoops. A hat. I have a little scrunchie here, and I'm just going to take this top portion and put it into a little bun. So I'm going to do one, and then fold it back over two. So now that's a little bun. Okay. Alrighty. So I have a second tiny scrunchie, and now I have a regular size scrunchie. So as you can see, one's bigger than the other. And with my second tiny scrunchie, I'm going to take the bottom hair now and just do the same thing. Gather it all up, one, and make a little bun. So as you can see, the bun in the bottom is much smaller. And what I'm going to do is take this bigger scrunchie and wrap it around both buns to bring them together. And now this gives me the illusion of a bigger bun. Um, or at least so I hope it does. <laughs> and I've still got a good amount of volume in the front. And then when you see any pieces like this, um, for you ladies, if you have a much better set than I did and your ends were beautiful and curly and you had a few pieces falling down that kind of looked like tousled curls um, and you really enjoyed it, definitely you can feel free to go ahead and leave those curls down. Um, I probably would if this was a prettier looking piece or maybe if it hung in a different place. But because here it looks a little awkward, I'm just going to go ahead and take a push pin now and just secure that back there in place. Perfect. And I see a few pieces here that look a little loose. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just basically this one piece and I don't want it hanging. So again, I'm just going to take another push pin and loosely just secure that in place because I still want to keep this loose uh, texture up here. And that's about it. Um, I love how this looks textured. It gives me kind of like a little bang, a little pompadour. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little 360 for you guys. Um, because I know my camera's lower, I'm going to be looking a little lower, like this, and back to the front. Okay, cool. So um, here, er here are some good uh, close-up texture shots of how this look came out, and I hope you really enjoyed it. As you see, it's very simple, very easy, um, great for the office, great for going out, Great for if you're going to a wedding. Just a beautiful, simple, easy style. 
natural hair does not have to be hard. Um, and just so you guys know, my hair is, uh, the front is about, it's basically from neck length to shoulder length and some layers. So, um, if you're anywhere around that length, you can definitely pull this style off a little shorter or a little longer. Um, it just means that you might need a little more or a little less hairpins. Um, either way, I hope this was helpful, and check out the blog at yourafricashowing.blogspot.com. Have a great day. Bye.